Hello and welcome to another Let's Play. This is Please Don't Litter, a PS1 style horror game where you have to collect trash. So yeah, let's get into this. A few years ago, an anomalous object appeared in one of the cities. He looked like a big timer. Every 10 seconds, it generates tons of garbage. Because of this, the inhabitants of the city had to be evacuated. A few months later, the city turned into a dump. In order not to completely litter the whole world, they begin to hire garbage collectors. Garbage collectors work almost all night and hardly get paid. You are one of the garbage collectors. Okay. Hold to grab. Oh, I overshot it. So let's collect some trash. See, it's kind of weird that, um... Uh... Alright, this... Okay, that has a bag icon, so I'm assuming the bags go in here. But yeah, it's kind of weird that, uh, apparently, like, there's some kind of anomaly where trash, yeah, just keeps falling from the sky. And so they had to hire a bunch of trash people. Garbage collectors. And yet, the garbage collectors hardly get paid anything. You would think, like, this is a super important job. You probably want to be paying them a lot more. Especially since, like, in the real world, the real world, um, garbage collectors actually get paid pretty damn well. Like, people always, like, make fun of them. Like, oh, you know, if you, if you don't study and stuff, you're just going to end up as a garbage man. But it's like, garbage people make a lot of money. At least compared to a lot of other jobs. Alright, so... Two more for there. Let's grab this. Chuck it in there. I don't think I need just the boxes. I think these can count as well, right? Yeah. Let's chuck that in there. Eight. Nine and ten. So now I need some garbage bags. Here's one over here. I don't know what that timer is for. Okay, well, I need one more. So I need to find one more garbage bag. Okay, we have a sprint button. That's going to help. Alright, where's a garbage bag? I just need one more. There it is. Alright. So we dump this in here. Now we gotta do it again? I, I don't know what that is, but I, I'm working. I'm working. You don't got to do anything. Oh, it's clicking the garbage. Okay. Yeah, it's taking the whole thing. Hmm. Oh, I put it in here, and then it becomes garbage bags. Oh, there's a dude here now. What's up, bro? You must be garbage collecting, right? You know it. I help people like you. Do you want to get out of here? I know how to get out of here. You must fill the container for the drone to return. And we flew away with it. Let me know when you fill the container. When I fill this container? So I gotta fill this container with garbage bags. And I get garbage bags by throwing trash in there. At least that's what I'm assuming. Let's, because that's how we got uh, two bags showed up in there. Guess we'll find out right here. See that closes, recycle, and then we should get two bags.
This doesn't seem like too bad of a job. I mean, I guess the problem would be having to do this almost all day and night with like no breaks. Get that away from there. But I mean, you know, put on uh, some headphones, listen to some music or podcasts, and then just pick things up and dump them in there. And that's kind of it. Don't have to deal with people, which is something that is a huge positive for me. <laughs> uh, if I can find a job where you don't have to interact with people at all, that'd be perfect. I mean, my job now is pretty good. I don't really have to talk to people except for studios, studio heads, producers. For anyone who doesn't know uh, my job, I'm a screenwriter, so. I basically set my own hours, just gotta write, make sure I hit deadlines, and then the only people I really have to talk to are uh, producers and stuff. Which can be kind of tiring at times, but... Alright. Here we go. Uh, oh. I just talked to him and then we're here. Okay. Can I talk to you again? No. I like the design for this world. I mean, the fall kind of hides some of it, but it has this cool, like, cyberpunkish, dystopian kind of Blade Runner look to it. And this area kind of reminds me of um, Soldier with uh, Kurt Russell. When he gets dumped into the, the garbage area. But yeah, damn, man. This this must like smell really bad. Somewhere in the dump, there is a train on which you can safely leave here. On it, the guards will not notice you. Why would they not notice me? I know one person who will help you get to him. He lives somewhere in the garbage unloading area. Fortunately, you will have to go to him alone. I won't be able to go with you. Get ready to jump. Okay. Jump. Yep, I already did. Sorry, but I can't keep walking with you. Good luck getting out of this dump. Why? Why can't you come with us? I feel like this is going to be like a setup. Also, why can't they, uh, why won't the guards notice us? Isn't that kind of like their whole job? Is to guard the train? Please don't throw items at this truck. Thank you. I mean, they say don't throw items at this truck, but I'm assuming that's what we got to do, maybe? Oh, shoot. They got me. You have been recycled. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so I have to fight this thing. Come on. Get a life bar going. Yeah. Oh, that's not something. I'm like doing almost no damage to this thing. Ugh. This is a really interesting <laughs> situation I find myself in. I'm, I'm battling a floating garbage truck who wants to recycle me. This is why I love these games. These little, like, indie games are just so unique. Fighting a garbage truck by throwing trash at it. 
All right. Yeah. Got it. Does anything happen now? No? Alright, I guess we just keep going. Oh, maybe this opens up. Maybe, okay. I'm guessing this thing was closed unless you fought it. But once you, uh, once you beat it, it opens, I'm assuming. Oh, what's over here? Oh, he wants me to recycle. Hey, what's up? Who are you? Hey, I take it you want to get out of this junkyard? There's an abandoned station not far away. It has no security. So you can safely leave here by train. Problem is you have to swim across the river to get there. I'll lend you a boat if you help me. Build the four containers to my left. Put each type of garbage in its own container. All right. Um, plastic, metal, paper, glass. I'm assuming this is, counts as paper. It's cardboard. Or maybe not. Okay. How about this? This is canned, I'm assuming metal? Yes. So metal cans go in there. Uh, this is plastic. I'm guessing. Yes. Alright, some more metal. Alright, one more metal. Let's get the, some plastics here since they're nearby. Plastics are yellow. Okay, and one more metal. All right, be nice if that would close. Okay, this is glass. Yeah. And then plastic yield. Oh. I guess I can like use that. I can put stuff in there so I can carry more than one. But I don't mind walking. I mean, the trash stuff is kind of nearby. All right, get some glass. Paper is the one I haven't really found. Unless you're talking about the cardboard, but when I put the cardboard in the paper, it didn't do anything. So, we'll mess with that afterwards. Alright, final plastic. There we go. Now we just need some glass. One more glass. There we go. Alright, paper. Uh, like I said, I think it's this, right? It is. How come it didn't work the first time? Alright. At least everything just spawns nearby so we don't have to walk too far. Is this all this guy has to do? A day? If so, that's like the greatest job ever. <laughs> Just collect seven of these every day and it all spawns right near you anyways. Well, thank you very much. You can take the boat. Good luck getting out of this dump. Goodbye, ducky. All right. 
Alright, where am I now? I can go that way, or I can go that way. Let's go this way. Oh, there we go. Train. Get on it. I can't move my mouse, so this is the only view you're going to get. Oh, man, look at all that. Look at all this world destroyed by all this garbage. The game was made by Ken Forrest in 72 hours. For London Dare 51. Thanks for playing. Thanks for making this, Ken. The end. Just gonna see if there's any like post credit little moment. Nope. But there you go. There's please don't litter. Um, you know what? That was a uh, an interesting little game. For something made in like 72 hours. Pretty good job. I liked it. I mean I thought I thought the the battle with the truck was pretty interesting <laughs> uh but yeah i i like this game i thought it was good uh but there you go hope you enjoyed the video and i hope to see you next time take care everybody later